<laughs> Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The hot news today is Tyrone is no longer hot when it comes to news. Oh, and could it be that the pictures they were showing of him, he was 13 and not 17? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> what do you do? We'll do something like that. Like Monty Bubbles. And <laughs> I know, like chance. Monty Bubbles, and she'll, you can get to see Monty Bubbles without her bikini bottom on. Ooh, and Obama attacks anyone in our business making more than $250,000. Oh, yeah. He's back on that kick this morning that, uh, that you know, here's a good one. you got to love this one, though. Um, let's see, over 40% of the teachers in the United States make more than $250,000 a year. Hmm. And 12% Wait a minute, how many was that? Uh, over 44% of the teachers in the United States make over two fifty a year. And 12% of all of the millionaires he wants to put new taxes on are educators, folks. And Americans angry with Obama over gas prices. So there's nothing that he can do about it. Well, um, let's put it this way. He's losing his own base now because his base can't get to work. The reason why we had the collapse was because people had to make the choices between high gas prices or paying bills because they needed to go to work. So you tell me how people that couldn't pay $2 a gallon when it became president can sustain $5 a gallon now without being hit again. It's just, um, it's impossible. If the country couldn't run at two, it cannot run at five, no matter what Obama seems to think. A loss of insurance mandate wouldn't kill the health law. Well, no, it won't kill the health law. There's no means of financing it. The health law will stand and it becomes an individual mandate. Okay, here's the way it works. They are adamant about the fact, they told the Supreme Court it is not a tax. Even though they said it's a tax, it's not a tax, so therefore the Supreme Court can now overrule the portions that bring the revenue in as being unconstitutional because it's not a tax. Because if he'd have said the word taxes, he would have never got it passed through either House, this House, or Senate. So the bill, they said, was going to happen. They think it could be conceivably a 9-0 to zero vote stripping the mandate out and leaving the bill intact with no means of paying for anything, mm -hmm. which means it be, uh, like the, one of the, one of the uh, former Supreme Court justice said, in other words, it becomes just exactly like all other government bills. That it's a, uh, they, they figured the figures out yesterday, it becomes a $17 trillion unfunded mandate. Mm -hmm. $17 trillion. And educators make up more than 12% of the millionaires in this country. Yeah, I had a good one. And Obama wants... 12%? 12% of those people that Obama wants to increase the taxes on are educators. 44% of the educators make more than 250000 $250, a year. Sheesh, and school teachers not used to not get paid that much. Uh, people, okay, what happens is once you um, once you move up the food chain, the young, okay, um, I used to pick up 100 bucks an hour as a substitute teacher when I wasn't doing anything. And some people do nothing but substitute all the time. They come in, uh, you know, uh, they'll, they'll come in, well, it was $100 a day, I think it was 100 bucks a day, yeah. But they'll come in and they'll do, you know, t three days a week, walk off with more money than a person in a bit, than a, a person on Wall Street makes in a year. Are you serious? Three days a week they can do that. And they talk about the pool. Poor school teachers. Yeah, no, the average starting salary is about forty, fifty thousand for a starting teacher. And FBI said to have garnered intelligence on California Muslims. I know, I love this one because they. Well, wouldn't they, they have done that before? I mean, well, I mean, what is it? I've used the analogy before. I was I danced in eleven Elvis Presley movies, and I actually played football at Presley sometimes. But he used to laugh about the fact that he said the FBI knows exactly the size of my. And then they say, don't say that, Elvis. And he said, well, they've taken a measurement of it without my knowing about it. So <laughs> that's FBI. The FBI gathers information. If you're alive, they know about you. Mm -hmm. And doctors doubt favoritism in Cheney transplant. Well, no, because um, Dick Cheney, he waited, he waited almost two years to get it. First of all, he shouldn't have got one no matter what. Because, uh, okay. I always figure that there are things you can transplant. You can transplant kidneys, uh, you know, a liver, pieces of stuff, pancreas, things like that. But a heart is only going to last as long as the heart. The other pieces are meant to last forever. But a heart will only last as long as the heart was meant to last. I mean, what happens is, what if you get a heart that was supposed to die the day after tomorrow and you put it in your system? Mm -hmm. So you basically just wasted everything. 
and teen girls more likely to use electronics while driving the study. Well, yeah, teen girls are more likely to dangle their fingernails out the windows with, with car pot, with, you know, with nail polish on. They're likely to do lipstick while they're driving. So what is unusual about thinking that they won't use a cell phone while they're driving or text? And, and more likely than what? Boys. Or adults? Okay, teen or? boys don't tend to play with cell phones as much as girls do. Because girls are chatty, chatty more. Where boys don't care. I mean, if so, okay, the cell phone for a male is something they're forced to keep with them. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, would I have a cell phone if you didn't demand it? Probably not. See? Actually, not probably not, absolutely not, because you don't want no, one. I, I would try to explain it in the simple terms of my family. My father never allowed an answering machine in our home, and his reason was, well, if I have an answering machine, somebody might call me and want me to go to work. So. <laughs> I know, and you inherited that. I inherited it. I'd rather, I would, okay, I have to do stuff, but not, I don't necessarily like work work because work work is really boring. And ghost ship off Canada heralds arrival of tsunami debris. Okay, I'm trying to figure out the stupid thing is floating. Who'd let a ship that is floating go all the way from Japan to here? You, somebody I would have thought would have grabbed onto that thing and salvaged it because it's a, the thing is intact, it's floated all the way from Japan to here. So uh, they obviously didn't have radiation with it because if it had radiation, they would have sunk it a long time ago. And giant nine pound Gambian rats invading the Florida Keys. Oh, I, I'm going to tell people something very important. We got rats bigger than that in, in, in California. Oh, really? We have tree rats. Tree rats are big, big, big monsters. They came over from England. They brought, I don't know what idiot brought those stupid things over, but they tunnel. Okay, uh, North Spring Shake used to live around the canals in, in San, San Joaquin Valley. The stupid tree rats just chew the daylights out of the canals. They burrow in them. They, you know, yeah, flooding all the time because of these moron rats. They, you can go by um, shopping centers and you see these great big, god awful big bait things out there. Those are for the tree rats. And strange sea creatures on South Carolina coast identified. It's a sturgeon. I mean, the people have never seen a live sturgeon. And the problem was, is they waited so long to identify it, there was a pregnant sturgeon, and it, that's where you get caviar from. 800 pound sturgeon. 800 pounds? 800 pounds, it was full of caviar. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Texas man executed for 10 month old boy's death. I know, and then the, and the Democrats are throwing a fit about it because it was obvious that 10, 10 month old had it coming to him. Well, because um, I'm watching last night the Democrats, we, when we get control, total control of the Supreme Court, we're going to ban the death penalty because too many innocent people are being sent to death. No, I can't find a case anywhere where anybody that was sent to a death was innocent. They, they never find them innocent. But um, uh, the problem is, is that if you said there is no such thing as life in prison without parole, because you can always get parole. Mm -hmm. So there, what you can't, the, the person that was killed can't be paroled. He's dead. And snow plow driver and wife charged in Vermont teacher's death. Oh yeah, somebody wanted to, imagine, this is what's really bad. Somebody kills somebody just because he wants to see what it's like to kill someone. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't find that. What, what, what time of a person goes and picks somebody out, kills them just for the... I mean, there, I, it's, got, it's got to be more reason than that. Well, I mean, no, that's it, because that was the only motive. They, they just wanted to see what it was like to kill somebody, and then after they did it, they, were, they, they realized that what they did was wrong, and basically... They, and now uh, they get to go to jail. They get to actually, they got, uh, but don't worry, there's no death penalty in that state. So the, Are you serious? The, the little two-year-old kid loses his mother. And then the people will be out of the jail cell probably in four to five years after, you know, well, they, They're probably going to be temporary insanity because who in the world thinks about... Well, yeah, because they weren't in their right mind when they wanted to do a throw killing. Ugh. Yep. Spike Lee apologizes for address retweet. I bet he does. Well, yeah, because they were going to, they were going to put him in, okay, he's working in... In Florida at the moment, they, he, couldn't, he, had, he couldn't come back to Florida because they put an arrest warrant out on him. In order to kill the warrant, he basically, let's put it this way, the family had to get a new home, they had to damage What was he it. tweeting about? He, 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 he wanted to teach that Zimmerman guy a lesson who unfortunately, as people are now starting to find out, MSNBC doctored all the documents, MSNBC doctored pictures, MSNBC did this. That is bad. And then other, the other people picked it up. It is now 
try, people are trying to forget that it happened because, okay, here I am, I'm this side, picture this, this the kid that they're looking at was 13 years old picture. The kid that actually was killed is like this compared to me. Mm -hmm. Big, big, heavy, big, strong kid. And so um, he wasn't what they made him out to be, and he was a naughty little boy also. And they're going to say, well, the courts say that you can't do that. Well, they're also maligning a person and the police department. police department did their job. Everybody did their job, and they figure, here's what's going to happen. They said, if, he, if no charges are brought against him or he's found innocent, which he will be found innocent. That's a real obvious thing. He will be found innocent, and he will win the case if they try to bring a civil rights suit against him. Because, because the law is on his side, not on the other kid's side, and um, and he, they do have witness to the fact he was attacked. And when you're attacked, you have a right to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. So, um, but um, it, it's just they said the press, uh, the media came so low now that they're now doctoring news in order. That's to bad. Bring, you know. Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, when a politician sets forth to attack somebody, they should at least get their facts straight before they start the attack. They're all totally backing off of, of the Cleveland. <laughs>